Hi guys, Jeff here from TAP. Just wanted to give our members a demonstration on utilising the scan data part of our website, the new TAP scan data. So again, if you just zoom in here, we've just logged into the website. Uh, I've logged in and I want to access our scan data. So it's going to go straight into the scan data section of our website. Load that up. We're looking at a Ford BA Falcon at the moment. Uh, sorry, an AU Falcon. So we just go to the Ford section here, click on the Ford. Then we can have a look at it. We can sort by model. So across the top here, we can sort by different ones. We can sort by model. And the first one on the list there is the AU Falcon uh, 4 litre. Uh, again, we're going to just pick, click on the idle. We want to get the idle data, and it will come up uh, all the idle data from this particular vehicle. The easiest way to do it is then to click on print this page. So if we click on that, it will bring up the print icon. We can then print off that, and we can then print that information off to take to the vehicle. We can also then go back to our scan data and also have a look at our 2000 RPM data if we wish as well, and if we wanted to print that off as well on top of the idle. It's mainly the idle stuff we want to look at in this particular case. So it will just print itself off here all the pages. This now gives us a ready reference and if you have a look of all the data there on the AU Falcon at idle. And there's three pages there of data which we can now compare to our, our not so well clutter. So we follow out to the workshop now. And this is where the real power of the live data comes into it where we can access that good data and then go back to our vehicles and compare it to the data on the car we have. So in this case we've got the car here set up. We've got our G-Scan set up as well, and we've got our live data. So now we can just basically go through and compare the different lines of data with our good known data to our vehicle. And that's a really great starting point in diagnostics to see where is our discrepancies. What, what, what is different between the good data and the data we have in our motor vehicle. We've got hundreds and hundreds of, of files of data already on, the vehicle, on our website, and we're adding to it all the time. You can also request data if there's particular pieces of data that aren't in the system, where one of our other members may be able to access that data for you. We're not only just collecting engine data either, we're collecting uh, data from all different modules. HVACs, clusters, door modules, uh, you know, uh, body control modules, multifunction control modules, whatever module might be in a vehicle that collects data, we're able to download that data off a good car and put it on the website. So that growing library will grow and grow uh, greatly even more so from what is already in the system. So if you are a member, start making utilisation of this live data, the TAT scan, scan data, uh, which is on the website. If you're not a member, it might be time to join because this resource alone is well worth joining. So go to our website, www.tat.net.au, click on the join now icon, fill in the details, it'll immediately email you a, a, a password to log into the website. So you too can start accessing some of the great scan data which we have in our website. See you next time.